Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. Appreciate you coming back. Hey guys, I just want to talk to you today um, about this chemical that's pretty much in everything that's lingering in the background. And I remember a while back that um, I heard about it, but it just didn't dawn on me for some reason. Didn't dawn on me. But then I heard it not too long ago, and I started doing my research on it, and I'm like, oh, I remember that. I remember that. So this chemical is lurking in the background, and it could be causing cancer, having cancer tumor cells to grow. So coming up, we're going to talk about this chemical that's lurking in the background, so don't go away. to my channel definitely appreciate that and if you're first time hit that notification bell and subscribe button and support my channel I appreciate that and if you're returning I appreciate you as well for supporting my channel uh, coming back every Monday and visiting with me um, I had to put my channel up a little bit late today I apologize for that I had ran across a little bit of challenging things that I had to take care of but everything is good and everything is fine and I'm good so however I want to talk about this amazing I was gonna say amazing this chemical that is lurking in the background of a lot of products that we put on our face and also that we eat so this uh, chemical is called paraben. I don't know if you ever heard of paraben before, but I did in the past, and I, and I just like missed the bus. I, I don't even like know what happened, why I didn't research research in the past. But I ran across the article and I just uh, decided to read it, and I'm like, wow. So I want to share this with you guys, the finding that I had found. I'm not a doctor and I'm not a nurse. This is totally the research that I had found, uh, just researching. And I encourage you to do the same. Just go look, um, see what is parabens, what do they do, the harmful use of paraben. But you don't have to do that. Why? Because you're here getting it from me and guess what? I already did the research for you. So you just keep coming back here and I'll do the research for you, okay? So let's find out what is parabens, okay? No, I gotta put my glasses on, guys. Woo, yes, I do. I gotta put them on. <laughs> All right, so parabens are a synthetic chemical that are used as a preservative in person care products, food, beverages, pharmaceuticals, as preservatives. Paraben increase uh, product shelf life by preventing harmful, harmful bacteria, uh, fungus, and yeast from growing. Parabens have been known around for a long period of time, guys. So yeah, I've been around for a long period of time and I didn't know about it. I didn't know about it, but then it's all of a sudden dawned on me like, dang, I really need to start doing some research and, and share this with you guys because if you have someone out there who suffering from cancer or has a high risk of cancer, you definitely want to tell them to be free from this paraben, okay? I had to take it out of my bathroom, out of my house, because I came across some items that it was in. And like this right here is called Clear and Clean. It's definitely in that. So I had the daytime Clear and Clean. So, of course, I had to have the night scrub too, but that's just how I do it night and day and some of you guys probably use this too so it has those parabens in it and also our copper tone for kids it's in this too that i found out that i was very shocked and this uh curel also it's in that that i have found out so just go ahead and look through everything and just debug your home with paraben so, okay, let's keep going. According to the American Chemical Society, most parabens are 85% of health, beauty, and personal care products. They are commonly listed on the methyl, ethyl, propel, isopropyl, uh, butyl, 
and I so beautiful. It feels like I'm talking a different language, but that's exactly what it say. But let me show you too. I did just wrote it down and uh, made a list for you guys. So if you see this on any product, any products in the store, it normally just be like a name like Metho, Etho. You won't just really see parabens um, on it unless it's a parabens free. So it might say paraben free. So just make sure you look at these. These are the uh, ingredients that's in all the products. Or they may just have one or two in that product. So now you know what to look for, right? Yeah, I was shocked. We gotta watch everything. Every single thing that we do. Everything we use, everything that we eat. We have to just get in the habit of reading the labels. We have to read the labels, guys. So let's see here, what's next? Um, so um, the side effects that makes parabens unsafe. Um, too much of anything is not good for you. We all knew that. Too much of anything is not good for you. The, mar the majority of parabens can be found in con conventional beauty products. Daily use of the products over time can cause a buildup of parabens and do more harm than good. When parabens are ingested over time through food or um, additives, the health risks and effects can be potentially worse. So, if you use it a lot, it can be potentially worse. But it's in everything. It's in the food. It's in the products. So it's in everything. So, so that's why it's up to us to spread the word. Spread the word. Share this video and let other people know about this paraben because they probably just forgot about it too and then don't read the labels anymore. You know? So they say use over a period of time, but yeah, it's in everything. So of course it's getting used over a period of time. So we just gotta educate ourselves, guys. Oh, okay, so now there are a endocrine disruptors too that, it, that this chemical can do. The chemical structures of parabens is similar to hormone estrogen. Research shows that estrogen mimicking has marked them as endocrine disruptors. And parabens have been uh, recently linked to cause an early puberty in girls. Wow. Over time, the endocrine disruption can lead to a variety of problems uh, in adults, like acne, male growth, male breast growth, um, growthly de developmentally and neurologically disorders and various cancers. Other studies show that parabens can also alter thyroid levels, causing possible adverse health effects. So yeah, it can mess with your thyroid levels too. A lot of people do have thyroid problems. So it can mess with thyroid levels. So it's just amazing how this, this parabens can get in your body and just do do these things, you know, cause harm. Especially, you know, someone is already suffering from an illness and then they just started rubbing this on, um, taking it. Just really blows my mind how we have to just watch everything nowadays. So let's see how it linked to breast cancer. Okay, well, some research have revealed that parabens can mimic the activity of hormones, estrogen in our body cells. These estrogen, estrogenic activity is associated with certain forms of breast cancer. Estrogen is a female hormone that has been known to cause body normal and cancerous breast cells to grow or divide. Parabens has also been found present in breast tumors. Parabens enters the body through the skin. They fuel the growth of existing cancer cells. So that's why I say it's very important you know the one who suffering from cancer or diagnosed with cancer, tell them that because you don't want to have nothing uh, fueling the uh, tumor cells. So fueling the, uh, the existing growth of the tumor cells. So let's see, there's more. Okay. Um, 
So here's the link to reproduction reproduction problems. There has been linked linked to parabens been linked to increased risk of reproductive problems. Um, the changes may contribute adverse health effect on both mother and child, potentially leading to productive complications and high risk of cancers and cancers in adults and well as developmental issues in children. So yeah, it can cause developmental issues in children as well. Uh, let's see, it's also uh, can cause a allergic reaction with people who have allergies, can cause or uh, may worsen pre-existing conditions like paralysis, paralysis eczema, uh, dermatitis. It's also can fuel that as well. So I did find some products that I did bought that um, is parabens free. Sometimes it was said on the product, like this right here is uh, uh, black tea, black tea uh, serum, it's like a black tea serum. And on the product here, it says no parabens, no parabens in that. And um, I also have a product here that um, it's a makeup remover. It says fragrance free. Fragrance free. So you want to look out for that as well. So let's see. Absorbing quickly to the skin. According to EWG, parabens are absorbed rapidly through, through unbroken skin. In 2006, the Center of Disease Control detected parabens is nearly all of a hundred urine sample tested indicated wild, widespread of exposure exposures to parabens in Americans. Wow. With a hundred urine samples tested. That's how many uh, was exposed to like paraben in Americans. So let's see where these parabens are hiding guys. The first thing I want to just share with you guys you have to get start to get used to reading the labels you have to start reading the labels the ingredients you know because a lot of times stuff on um, products it looks so exciting oh like oh you have a burst of energy in the morning if you use this part this product there is a fantastic feeling if you use this product so we pay attention we pay attention to the burst of energy oh yeah we have a burst of energy so yeah i'm gonna buy that Oh, fantastic feeling. It's going to make me feel fantastic. Oh, yeah. I'll buy that. I'll try that. But let's look at the ingredients. We have to start looking at the ingredients in the, the products, okay? And on the labels. So the common products that this parabens are in is in shampoo, lotions, conditions, conditioners, shampoo, I mean shower gel, facial cleaner, facial scrubs, deodorant, makeup, toothpaste, and eye cream. So you want to, like I said, opt for fragrance-free products. Also, researchers has found 90% of typical groceries items contains a parabens. Now, this is what I want to show you too. You won't see like methyl, ethyl, like I was talking about a different language. You won't see that in the food products. It starts with an E. It'll be like E28, E209, and E214. So this is what it looks look like when you see it on food products. You want to see that E. So they won't say it like it's up though or parabens. They, it's not listed at that. So you got to get very smart with these people and start doing your research too. I'll come and see my channel and I'll do the research for you, okay? So let's tell you what kind of foods it in. Okay, let's see here. Um... Parabens are in beer, jams, dairy products, sauces, pickles, uh, fats and oils, desserts, frozen meats, processed meats and fish, soft drinks, processed vegetables, canned foods, flavored syrup, and alcohol beverages. So there you go, guys. There you go. So I hope you guys learned something. Like I said, share this video with someone. You know, it could help save somebody's life if they're struggling or being diagnosed with cancer or has cancer. And these parabens 
you know, can make things worse. I hear we thinking like, oh, you buy things, oh, it's gonna make you feel good, or you sometimes like advertising is false because they have this big old exciting word, feel good, uh, it's just uh, bursting with flavor or whatever, you know, we just pay attention to that, that statement, not reading what's in the ingredients, and that's what we need to start doing. So if you start reading what's in the ingredients and labels, then um, you can prevent a lot of this stuff from happening. And I must say in the past, I was like that. I never really uh, read ingredients, but um, I learned. I learned to read ingredients. So I hope this video will help someone out there. And uh, you want to go and try to get all these parabens out of your house. Debug your house with these parabens. Share this video. I appreciate that if you can share it because it may help someone. It may help someone out there who really, really, truly need to hear about it because we forget about these parabens and we forget about stuff, but then it comes back, you know, into products again. You know, some of the products they probably had taken it out before, but now it's back in these other products and we just got to get used to just reading ingredients. Read 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 not labels ingredients okay all right guys hope you have a wonderful week and i hope this video like i said helps someone out there and uh apologize for the video being late but i'm here i made it and please support my channel subscribe to my channel hit the bell and come back for some more exciting videos okay appreciate it so what I'll see you next week. Peace out. Have a blessed week. Bye.